So, Ross, we've got Dorkin this weekend, obviously coming off the back of two wins, so it'll be no really nice to get a hat-trick of wins in a row, won't it? Yeah, of course, like, but I think like, the, uh, the key thing we've drilled in since we've, we've sort of come in is uh, trying to make it sure that the performance and the process is the right thing. So like, we're, we're most, the most important thing for us in Dorkin is being as well prepared as we can be, uh, making sure the boys have all of the information they need and the sort of style that we're going to try and play or we're going to play on Saturday uh, and make sure everything's in order, really. So like, make sure we get the process right. But like, obviously, hat-trick wins would be great, uh, but just making sure that we obviously work hard and, 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 try and try and implement the things we've asked as best as possible, really. That's, 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 the, best thing. that's the best thing I can ask them. That's probably the thing that myself and the coaching staff want the most. Obviously, Dorking have only just come up to the National League this season, and it's well documented their, their rise from rags to riches and... You know, you know, you can't overlook them as a team that's just come up, can you? Though, because they have done well this season. No, nah, not at all. Like, and, and I know, I know, I've got like a few friends at Dorking, and, and we've played Dorking like academy and stuff on the. Uh, so I've been over there a few times with the uh, under 19s, 18s, and sort of 21. So, for, from my perspective, they're a club I'm, I know well, uh, a club I'm really happy to see doing well. Like I've got, um, I, like I said, I know people and people, people there. So I'm, I'm chuffed to bits for them. Really, I think from from our perspective, they've got to, they can't be taken lightly. Um, I watched uh, the walking, the walking sort of Dorking game and. and and the walking manager referred to them as like gunslingers and how forward they played and, and how attacking minded they are and how carefree they are. And um, it's something I, uh, I like, uh, something I sort of style. I'm, I'm very sort of like, it's very good to see in the National League and I'm glad it's doing well. I'm glad it's getting rewards for them. But sort of like I said, like um, hopefully it's an entertaining game on, on Saturday and something we can certainly add to it, definitely. Well, that's, that has been this, the story for Dorking this season. A lot of goals um, at either end as well. Yeah. So, you know, now we've said that, it's probably going to be a nil-nil, isn't it? But, or a tight win for either team. But, no, uh, you know, if, if you focused on that at all, the, the forwards or the defence at all? Yeah, well, I mean, our, our, like I said to you before, like our, our, our way we'll play is we'll always look at other teams, but essentially we'll always try and be ourselves. I think that's the most important thing that, that, that needs to come into this group is is who are we, what is our identity? And, like I said to you before, like we'll always be a team that, that want to be aggressive with and without the ball and we'll always be a team that wants to be brave with and without the ball. And, and, and I can guarantee one thing, that's how we'll always set up and that's how we'll always sort of go at things. Um, I don't really know another way um, in terms of trying to entertain. Um, and I think Dorkin are the same, so hopefully it isn't the nil-nil. <laughs> um, and uh, it's very entertaining, but obviously it works out right for us in the end, 100%. 100%. And obviously, we saw Alex McAllister make the bench. Yeah. You, you, you've been head of the academy for a while now. You know, is, is that something you're you're keen to do as well? Obviously, we didn't. Unfortunately, we didn't see him come on um, yeah. with the you know the the play of the game and it being so late a, a late win. But you know, is that something you're keen to do? Bring some of the academy lads in in with the first team environment. Oh, of course, that's my background. Obviously, like coming through the academy and known. I live in the area and I know the area well and, and I know sort of all the, all, the, all the local players but like I think from my perspective of course I'm always going to want to produce players uh, but they'll, they'll get their opportunity when the time is right, it won't be rushed and, and we'll have to make sure that sort of like the development is, is progressed at the right rate but all on the other side of that I've got, I've got first team boys here as well I need to see, um, we've got boys who were signed with us who we need to see, we need to give opportunities to as well so there, there's lots to think about, um, there's lots of young players, good players, not just Alex McAllister or we've obviously got Keane Anderson and Max on Mullins, uh, uh, Ben DeLacy Turner so there's lots of good young players coming through uh, but it's just uh, I think as a as, as a manager at the minute, we want to get that mix and blend right, and some are out on loan, and some might come back in. But we'll, we'll sort of we'll, we'll get that right, and when the time's right, they'll get the opportunities 100%. One of those players for those um, youngsters to look up to is Tommy Willard, and, and obviously he's got two and two um, yeah. since you, you've, you've you know come in as interim boss. So is that is, is that something you, you're keen to do? Play Tommy in that more central role? Yeah, obviously I worked with Tommy in the 21, the 21, or the 23s back then. So like, and I, Tommy was a number nine for me then, and uh, he'd been a number nine pretty much most of his. Um, most of his life before, I'm not saying Tommy won't can't play on the wing. I think Tommy Tommy can play on the wing, but I think like with his energy and his runs in behind, he offers you a lot as like a, as a number nine. Certainly working up front with Inny um, has seemed to work quite well. Um, oh, it's worked quite well. <laughs> um, so I like I like Tommy as a nine. I like him through the middle. I like him running behind his energy. Uh, I think he I think he's, he's, he spoke quite uh, candidly about he needs to add more goals and assists to his game. So like fair play, that's quite mature. I think like that, but like um, that's something obviously he needs to add to it, and he, he is, and, and it's good to be working with him again. I thoroughly enjoyed coming and working with Tommy again.
Um, in terms of you know squad fitness, it's, it's, it's a tough run. We're in the middle of it. We've got another Saturday, Tuesday coming up with two away trips, one more local than the other, obviously. Part, we've seen parts come back, you know, 260 minutes in the tank. Obviously, I feel like that might be a bit of a more slow rehab process. But, but how's the squad shaping up? Is there any injuries to note of or anything like that? Uh, I mean, we're, we're, there's nothing serious. Like, obviously, Josh is, Josh is still not with us. But, like, in terms of, like... Um, short term, we've got a few, a few, few niggles here and there with obviously the games, but I'm, I'm fully expecting like, like come Saturday, we'll, we'll be as uh, full strength as we possibly can be, really, to be as candid about it. Like um, uh, we, we've had a few knocks here and there in training, and obviously, like I said, the schedule is, is, is can be quite tough in, in that period of time. I think for, for us coming in in that period of time, like, we, we barely had any time on the pitch, training pitch. Um, so that's probably been one of the toughest things. But I'm, I'm, I'm anticipating that on Saturday with full strength as possible. I guarantee we'll, we'll have a go at it and we'll have a proper go at it. Um, and uh, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll give it a proper good go on Saturday. And with the, the fans selling out their 750 allocation, that, that's some, some special um, effort from those, isn't it? So it'll be great to put on a performance for them. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's absolutely amazing. Like, I think the fan base, like, travelling away, how they travel away is, 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 is outrageous. Obviously, I've been here, like, four or five years now. Um, so to have 750 there uh, on uh, Saturday is going to be amazing. Like, uh, and it'll be such a good atmosphere. So, of course, we want to entertain. Like, I'm all about entertainment. I'm all about... Possession. I'm all about high pressing, and hopefully that 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 starts to come out in how we play, and the team can start. I mean, the fans can start to see a bit of an identity. I think the number one focus has to be us as a as a as a football team, and how we're going to play and how we're going to approach games as us, um, which which in turn will hopefully entertain people and entertain the fans and, and, and obviously it's 7.50 but, but the big goal as well long term is, is can we get more fans back in the ABB to come and watch the team play, play good attack and aggressive football which is of course what, what I love and what I want and what they want of course. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.